Hello dudes, it's Yassi and I'm back with Hitman Contracts, which is the third game in the Hitman franchise. Uh, a lot of people consider it the odd Hitman out of the bunch, uh, which I agree on. Uh, it takes a very different way of telling its story. It uh, retells previous events leading up to the current present predicament he's in, which is his lying bleeding in the hotel. Paris. Uh, he has been uh, betrayed, so uh, they knew where to find him. Anyways, uh, we'll be uh, going through these previous events and uh, seeing how the present unfolds. I think it's the most, uh, <laughs> the best explanation I can give you. Uh, yeah, so let's start. Uh, I'm gonna play on normal since, yeah. I'm not that good at Hitman games. <laughs> but I like him. Yeah, so we're back in the asylum, which uh, we were in in uh, the first Hitman game, where Hitman was created. So this is a previous event that we're playing through, but revamped. You can see it's the environment is revamped. It's pretty neat, actually. And about the deaths. It says it's in 2000 and yeah, in two two <laughs> 2000 and uh, it actually, uh, the Himan timeline follows the release dates of the game, so it's pretty cool. You can see the clones which we took out in the first playthrough, if you watched it. And I know uh, the cinematics might be a little choppy, and I will try to look into that. Oh man, he hanged himself. And well, it's kind of crazy though that the uh, mental patients got down here in the clone lab. This might be a real uh, pain for them, or the main mental health that's already fragile. Away some more clones, some hitman clones. In the jacuzzi. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, this is Scott. He's scored for life. This man. <laughs> and let's see if we can get out of here. Let's see if we can get out. Yeah, I. I kind of missed the point there. We're not replaying this as it was in Hitman the first game, but where it picks off exactly after we completed the first game. That's a more accurate description of what's going on. And I uh, remember quite a bit how to complete at least the first levels, I think. Maybe not the next level as much as the other levels, but I 
I think a lot of people will, re will remember the next level. I'm not sure where I'm going right now. Tell you follow me for. Okay, so this is probably not the right way. <laughs> That's the worst thing to do. Take the. Swarming asylum. Yeah, as I said before, before I got cut off by a cinematic, um, taking the wrong turn after saying you know where to go is probably not the best thing to do. <laughs> Anyways, here we have a suit used to get out of here and it's uh, this game does not track the no notoriety so we don't have to uh, worry about getting caught on the camera or anything like that I'm gonna go to the first floor he's scared of the police of course I'm gonna create a save here I'm just gonna check the record if it's still recording since I'm getting a lot of frames now. Yep, I'm still recording and uh, it seems just that I get a frame rate increase after I save it. Which is a little bit strange, but uh, I'm thankful for it. <laughs> uh, Hitman Silent Assassin was the other way around. <laughs> No, I had a lot of problems with that game, which was quite disconcerting because a lot of people consider that the best Hitman in the franchise. I'm gonna oh, <laughs> he's getting shot at. I'm gonna drop a save here because we're uh, closing up on the end of this level, and I'm just gonna bullet dodge the sniper, and I'm gonna try to separ uh, to record a outro cinematic separately so it won't be as choppy oh target is one of us target one of us that's choppy Okay, I got expert now, and that's fine, since I'm not really going for uh, professional or silent assassin rating. But the fun fact is that I actually did complete this level earlier, just to check out the software, uh, I mean fraps, yeah whatever. Um, and I completed in silent assassin, but the cinematic was choppy then, so no point in reducing that but anyways I think this is uh, fine for my uh, for my taste and uh, I'll see you in the next level and I have a feeling you might recognize the level as it's one of the more controversial levels uh, I'll see you in the next level bye bye